You probably assume most antibiotics are prescribed to people. Not so. It's estimated 80% of the antibiotics used in this country are given to animals to help them grow faster and prevent disease and unsanitary conditions. This is contributing to the rise of antibiotic resistant superbugs. According to Consumer Reports' Gene Holleran, and if you get sick, you could be in trouble. It may be very difficult to find an antibiotic that will help you get well. It may even be impossible. And the problem is widespread. When Consumer Reports last tested chicken, two-thirds of the samples had harmful bacteria, and more than half of these bugs were resistant to antibiotics. You can find meat that was raised without antibiotics. In fact, at Whole Foods, that's the only kind of meat you'll find. But at other stores, it can be much harder to figure out what you're getting. We found a few labels that are misleading and not even approved by the government. Antibiotic-free is one example, and the label natural, while approved, has nothing to do with antibiotics. More helpful labels are ones like no antibiotics administered and no antibiotics ever. But even better are ones that also say USDA process verified. This means that the government has gone out and checked up on the processor to make sure that they're doing what they claim. Organic is another sure bet for shoppers. All organic meat is raised without antibiotics. Looking for these labels is the best way to ensure that the meat you're buying has no antibiotics. Consumer Reports found that meat raised without antibiotics doesn't necessarily cost a lot more than regular meat. Shoppers found meat produced without antibiotics at very reasonable prices in several different stores. Dina Silk, 2 News works for you.